Have you ever had a chance to talk with a veteran? My grandfather was in Vietnam as an artillery gunman, and growing up, I noticed a lot of strange things about him that I never quite understood. But my parents always told me never to ask him about the things I saw. He couldn't be around loud bangs like fireworks and didn't like to be caught off guard. He was always kind to us, but had an aggressive side that we rarely saw. I got the chance to talk to him about his experiences as I grew older and learned more about what life is like going into active duty and coming out of it. What my grandfather said helped him the most was having his family and friends to fall back on when he needed them the most. For a long time, he struggled to get the medical help he needed through the VFW and other government programs, but over the past few years has been getting more help after moving back to the same town as my parents. For my parents, the decision to help take him in and make sure all of his needs were taken care of was simple. However, there are many veterans out there who do not have this kind of support structure to help them. My name is Micah Romines, and after researching more about the Disabled American Veterans Trust, or the DAV, as I will refer to it, I have been able to see how they use their donations to truly benefit veterans in need. By supporting an organization like the DAV, you will help make actual change in a veteran's life by providing them help for things like claiming benefits, homelessness, finding jobs, and transportation services. In America, we typically all follow the same idea of the respect our veterans deserve for defending our freedoms. Our government has tried reflecting this in the past, but has never quite been able to provide the full scope of services needed to fully support them. Homelessness, for example, is more likely to affect veterans than ordinary citizens due to the conditions veterans are left in after service. According to the NCHV, homelessness is also increasing among veterans due to an extreme shortage of affordable housing, living incomes, and access to health care. A large number of displaced and at-risk veterans live with lingering effects of post-traumatic stress disorder, substance abuse, and substance abuse, which are compounded by a lack of family and social support networks. The issues that lead to homelessness, such as substance abuse, lack of support structure and PTSD, and homelessness uh, itself are all leading factors to another large issue in veteran, which is veteran suicides. According to onceasoldier.org, there are 6,261 veteran suicide deaths in 2019. But overall, they are still rising from the 5,989 in 2001 when the VA started collecting this data. The DAV aims to help veterans by creating supportive solutions to all these issues that lead to a decline in the quality of life for our veterans, claiming their mission is to empower veterans to lead high-quality lives with respect and dignity. One of the ways they do this is by helping veterans with claiming and receiving benefits they are entitled to which, according to the DAV, in 2021, they represented veterans and received more than $25 billion in earned benefits. They also aim to provide transportation services to and from medical appointments for those without proper transportation, giving over 163,000 rides in 2021. They also work to help veterans get employment since all service duties aren't transferable to the civilian side of life. Some vets are left out of the American dream they fought to protect since they are unable to find employment that matches their experiences. Finally, their last focus is to create beneficial support structures for veterans in order to help them from feeling left behind. The DAV, of course, does this at no charge. Supporting the DAV does more than just give you a tax deduction at the end of the year. It helps other human beings with their lives. It also allows you the chance to give someone you more than likely will never know and that sacrificed so much for you, the chance at the American dream they helped to give to you. Sometimes helping others doesn't need a concrete cause. Sometimes it should just be done for the purpose of caring. Without donations from people like you, important organizations like the DAV can't afford to make the positive changes they aim to make. According to the DAV, they received almost $250 million in donations in 2022, or excuse me, in 2020. Roughly $185 million of that went straight to veterans and the services that they provide for veterans. The rest of which went to administrational uh, costs that the DAV needs in order to actually keep running. 
one of the main DAV, one of the main goals of the DAV is to grow and be able to impact more veteran lives with, and with your help, they can do just that. To donate to the DAV, all you need to do is go to www.dav.org. Once you are there, you'll be shown a big red Give Now button on the homepage. After that, after clicking that, you fill in your payment information and you will have successfully helped another veteran life in a positive way.